the, the general view is that cancer is a genetic disease. And uh, that's been solidified in tens of thousands of research papers in the scientific literature and also on the um, uh, National Cancer Institute website from the federal government of the National Institutes of Health. Um, so most, most therapies that are being produced are based on the, um, the genetic uh, theory, the somatic mutation theory of cancer. And uh, most of the treatments that are being given to patients in hospitals currently, the so-called standards of care, are based in one way or another on the view that cancer is an extremely complicated disease um, requiring uh, various kinds of targeted therapies based on some uh, genetic abnormality that these uh, cancer cells might, might have. The, um, this this uh, evidence is now accumulating to say that that concept is no longer supported by a significant amount of scientific evidence indicating that the uh, origin of cancer uh, 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 is due to defects in the um, energy uh, capability of the cell, uh, basically the mitochondria of the cell. The main idea, it's a very simple one, is that when the cell cannot generate energy through respiration, it falls back on fermentation, ancient, ancient uh, pathway for uh, energy metabolism. Um, and that's what drives the dysregulated growth of the cells. So all, all cancer cells that we have studied so far, uh, regardless of what the type of tissue or cell, they all, they all ferment. Fermentation is energy without oxygen. So basically cancer cells are fermenters. Um, and that's a, once you know that, then it becomes very clear uh, as how to manage the disease. In other words, they can't live without fermentation fuels. And those fuels are very limited. And that's only the sugar glucose and the amino acid glutamine. So, um, and they can't burn uh, ketones or fatty acids because you need a good mitochondria to do that. So the strategy for managing cancer now becomes very clear. Target their fermentation while moving the body into nutritional ketosis. And this will work on the majority of cancer patients. 